Well, in all my haste, I forgot to film the sanding of all this epoxy. So I gave the, the whole boat a quick sand of 60 grit. Now I'm going to brush it out with a broom, clean it up with some Dawn detergent. And then I'm going to start by painting the green part of the floor so that make sure that that's well coated. So that's the plan. Right, so I'll be painting the inside of the boat with this Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. I'll start with the floor and then work my way up. I'm going to use a brush on the floor, but I will be rollering with the small roller, the uh, side walls. I learned my lesson with the gel coat. About the halfway mark with the floor. I gotta say it's covering pretty well so so far I'm satisfied with the way it looks. I think I'm gonna finish one coat on the floor and then I'm going to put paint on every part of the the black JB Weld stuff just so it thoroughly coated. Well I put the first coat on yesterday on the floor and the sun was pretty bright and now you can see with the sun not being directly down in this bright white paint some uh, areas where the green is showing here which I expected and uh, the epoxy um, showing here like in black lines so this is going to get its second coat with a brush and then I'm going to roll over the rest I did have the cover on overnight so uh, it rained a little bit it didn't get wet inside the boat which is good All right, so I'm at a stopping point. Um, the floor has two coats and the walls and the railing, gunnel, deck, whatever you want to call it up here, has just one coat. So it's going to take another coat. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can see the roller didn't quite cover everything. Um, but it did cover a lot and already it looks new compared to before though. It doesn't look new. If you look closely, you can see all my repairs, but that's where we're at. Hopefully I'll check back in with the second coat done and the seat on. Well, I just finished the second coat of paint and while I wait for that to dry, I figured I would install these. These are what I'm gonna use in place of the wood that originally with the boat for stepping onto the boat or decorative, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. Up front, I'm going to take this big square and get a pencil like I did for the wood in the seat and draw it out how I want it and then I'll cut it. Hopefully that works.
All right, the second coat is on. The seat's in place. The uh, grips are in place, if that's what you want to call them. The decorative, pretty much, because of the uh, extent of damage to the fiberglass up here that I didn't repair uh, with to be looked at. If this thing was in perfect shape, I would have not put anything on there regarding that stuff. Uh, the, I would have just left it like this, but it's not, so this is what it is. And here's the seat. All in all, I think it came out pretty good. Um, next, the Bimney cover gets installed.